Hi, this is Dr. C, and this is how to write a cover letter in Microsoft Word. Well, last time we looked at how to write a letter from your dog, you know, or from a dog, right, Fido, uh, in, at the Humane Society to a new dog owner, right? <laughs> and that was cute. That was in the first how to write a letter, right? This time we're going to look at the letter construction. Your sender address goes up here. So you, the sender of the letter, get your name, address, city, state, zip, and phone number, the actual phone number for you, where you want them to contact you if they're interested in an interview or in offering you a job, right? Now, if you were writing this on letterhead, and I'll go to the print view so you can see what it looks like, you would leave that there, and before you printed, you would remove that information and space down. Let me show you how that looks. So you could remove this information, but you'd want to space down so that you would not be overwriting the letterhead if you had, uh, if you were writing from a business or if you had stationery, right, with the, the information printed at the top. Next, we'll go ahead and put that back, right? <laughs> Next, you have the date, and in business letters, they often these days put that on the left, but to me, it looks a little strange to have everything on the left. It almost looks like I'm writing an invoice, right? So I prefer, and it's your style, you have to decide what's your style, but I like it over to the right, and that is more like um, the way letters were done years ago, okay? You'll use today's date, whatever that is, okay? Next, where are you sending this letter? This, this example here is pretending that we want a job as a radiology technician. So it's probably to either a hospital or a radiology um, firm, right? So whatever the name of the business is, and I said attention HR department, and you'll notice I abbreviated it. And that's perfectly fine. The address for the location, city, state, zip, and their phone number in case you want to call them later, right? Then who's the letter to? You say human resources, because we don't know the name of the contact in the HR department, right? And then the subject. I could say radiology technician position, so they know I'm applying for a job, right? <laughs> and then dear our HR representative is, is addressing them professionally, right? Because we don't know their name. You could say to whom it may concern, but that sounds a little cold, a little distant, and it doesn't sound like you've invested any time in figuring out who are you writing, right? Thank you for the opportunity to apply for the radiology technician position, right? So you need to tell them right off the bat what's the purpose of this letter, okay? Then you tell them that you know something about their business, right? And you often want to say something positive. You want to be accurate and truthful, so we're not trying to be manipulative. But we're eager, you know, to apply for a job there. It's not just a job, it's a career, okay? I look forward to working with a great team. That tells them that we value teamwork and that we have some team skills. Enclosed, please find my resume, right? Don't forget, that's the punchline. <laughs> Read my stuff, right? <laughs> and then, of course, my skills include whatever they are. If you have a degree, if you have some work experience, and you can go into some of the experience you have, but very lightly, because this is a cover letter, right? It's a teaser. It's almost like an advertisement for what comes next. And then if you've done any internship, that tells them you have practical experience as well, right? I work well with patients. What are your soft skills? These really matter in life. So you work well with others, right? You play well. You remain calm under stress, because who wants someone who panics at the first <laughs> line of stress? And then you share your commitment to excellence, if you do. Now, if you're kicking life in cruise control, don't say these things, you know, because <laughs> always be truthful, okay? Then how do, should they contact you? Yes, we had this information up top, the phone number, but we want to make sure that they know they're welcome to contact us, that it won't interfere with our current work, okay? I look forward to hearing from you. If we add an exclamation mark here, it looks a little more exciting, but it can also look over eager, so you have to decide what's your style. And last, you could say sincerely here or with regards. I like to say best regards because I take a very positive and, 
happy view of life, right? <laughs> it's whatever your style is. And then how you, do you want them to, to address you? I do not close my letters with Dr. Colloin or Dr. Cynthia. I always say Cynthia or Cynthia Colloin, right? Depending on how much distance I want. But since I was said I worked well with others, right? I want them to feel that I'm approachable and eager to participate, right? And um, you can put more in your letter, but let's take a look. This is how it's going to look when you print it, okay? And if you wanted to space it down a little bit, you can how it fits on the page, but it's nice to keep a cover letter to one page, if at all possible. Well, I'm Dr. C, and this has been a quick look at how to write a cover letter for a resume. Happy job hunting, and have a great week. Bye-bye. See you online.